Hi everyone. I'm going to do something a little different today. Uh, I don't know how much you can see behind me. I have I, at the RTR. I set up two potty tents for people to use. There are a lot of people in cars in tents, and uh, so privacy is very difficult for them to use the bathroom. So to help them out, I have set up two potty tents, and I put a five-gallon bucket in each potty tent for people to use, and and uh, and it, I'll, sh I'll show you those in just a minute. But uh, I still needed to set one of them up. I keep uh, this just a standard old uh, True Value. True Value has a deal where they, uh, like once a year, they will, um, or more often, so I have a sale where they give you the bucket and you anything you put in it is 25% off or something like that. And I usually go and get one because I can always use them. So a uh, five gallon bucket that has a toilet. That's what we're doing. And I'm going to show you real quickly how to turn this five gallon bucket into a toilet. Really cheap. That's the key. And so I went to the Ace. There's an Ace here in town. There's almost always an Ace or a True Value nearby. And this is pipe insulation. Let me show you the whole thing. So it's four foot long. It's, uh, it's got a, uh, the pipe goes inside here. It's different sizes for different size pipes. And it has a split. That, and this actually usually, this one doesn't. And it splits apart. So what I'm gonna do, split the whole thing first. Get my five gallon bucket, and I'm hoping you can see this okay. And I'm just gonna take the split and put it right there. Okay, real simple. Well, I, this is uh, the simple, and I have, uh, this is how I did my five gallon bucket, just like this. And what I did, and I think this is for like an inch, an inch pipe. They have them in all sizes. And so what I did was on mine, and then I done, when I had done this, I took a really big one and put over the top of this, so it was double the size and double the uh, the softness. So actually, and it's lasted me forever. These things last me forever. Well, you say, wait a minute, it's going to be stinky. My germs are going to get on that. No, they aren't, because you're going to put a, a garbage bag as a liner on the top of this. So your behind and the stuff that associated with your behind. And remember, we all have. What do we do? We all have a butthole. And what do they all do? They all stink. So we don't want our stinky butthole in contact with this because it will just build up germs. So we go around, very simple, very, couldn't be any more straightforward. We have a pair of scissors. I could have done all this ahead and had it save a little time, but I wanted you to actually see it. I got scissors and duct tape. Simple stuff, really simple stuff. What do you need? You need a five gallon bucket and you need a piece of pipe insulation, you need a pair of scissors and a roll of duct tape. All things you should probably have with you. So you get here and you kind of guesstimate what's a good line here. I don't make too much of a deal out of this. Cut off a little, if you leave it a little long, you can always cut more off. You can always trim it down. So that's a little long. I think I'll cut that down a bit at an angle. Can you see that okay? And it shall pop off until I get it taped down. I'm just going to do duct tape to tape this thing down. On, you know what? That's probably about as good as I care for it to be, right there. You know, it's not. That's not anywhere. You know, no one's going to think a, a master builder did this. But at the same time, this is going to last forever. Um, I've been using mine for eight years. I did this exact thing my first year out. And I've, I've been using it for the last eight years and it's still fine, it's starting to wear out. I will probably have to pull it off. And you know what, It'll, this pipe insulation cost me $1.59. And so I can afford to do that every eight years. Duct tape, this is Gorilla Tape, I like Gorilla Tape, but any good quality, not the junk. The junk will just uh, fall apart on you. I have scissors, but I'll just take, rip that. Okay, you can see that. So, I would, if I weren't doing this so you could see it, it would be a little easier because I'm kind of... Okay, so you get the idea. Now this, this seam will be weak. Uh, so what I always do is I use more on this particular seam.
You can see that. Okay. Yes. I'm secretly recording all you ladies. And I'm going to sell it. I'm going to sell it on YouTube. Uh huh. Well, I can. Yeah. But I'm going to get rich doing it. <laughs> I'm still collecting money from the last time you did that to me. Oh, really? Yeah, no, you can't do that. Obviously, I'm not doing that, yeah. You know I'm joking. I do, and I am too. We know each other's joking, yeah. <laughs> They're at the ladies' meeting are going on right now, and I was a little concerned that I could pick up their voices, but I think I'm far enough away that I'm not gonna. So I'm getting a little carried away and I nearly everything I do in life I get carried away with. So this is well done. And you're just gonna do this exact same thing. One here, one here, one here. That's probably all I would do. This will last forever. This is all you would have to do. It's very comfortable. And uh, and I'm not gonna show you me taping all of it up. Guy drove by so you can't uh, hear me too well. Uh, I would just tape the rest of them up. Now let me take you inside the potty tent and uh, you can see how I've got the potty tent set up. Okay, let's do that. Okay. So this is my uh, Texport potty tent. I bought this off of Amazon. I've been very, very pleased with it. It's more of a shower. You can see how large it is. Let me see if I can get you both in this shot. You can see that uh, that's a uh, Ozark Trails from Walmart. I actually bought it at Walmart. This is a very, very large tent. I mean, the biggest guy in the planet could get in here no problem. Uh, it's a, and I've had good luck with it. This is the second RTR I will have had it set up. It's endured the winds. And um, the, the scissors, the um, zippers seem strong. I've been, uh, I've been pleased with its construction. Uh, this one is not ready to go yet. Sorry for all this sh shaking around. That's Normally this would all be edited out. And of course, got a breeze. We always have a breeze in the desert. It's a way of life. So I'm in the potty tent. And let me uh, give you an idea of just how tall this is. See, I'm reaching up and I can't reach the top of the tent. Can you see that? I can't even reach the top of the tent. That's so tall. So the tallest man could get in here. It's huge. Very large. Um, nice. Uh, <laughs> privacy. Or, you know, if you're showering, this would, of course, be closed. Uh, and if you're not showering, uh, you're using it as a potty, uh, you would have it. You might leave it open for their circulation. There could potentially odors in a potty tent, you know. And it came with... Um, it came with uh, this to hang your towels, little towel hanger. I'll get over here now. Little towel hanger here. And on this particular one, there is no floor because it is designed to be a shower tent primarily. And so there's no floor. You just bring something to stand in. I'll just show you, this one's huge. This, two people could easily shower in here together. Um, really nice tent, really well made. It was 80, like $85 from Amazon, but I'm very pleased with it. Uh, been a really good tent, endured the winds, everything. And over here we have a Ozark Trail. This is a Walmart tent. I literally bought it at Walmart. And it's more... I like the zippers, they seem good quality. And of course, I've got it set up um, already to be a potty uh, so I have left in the uh, in the bathroom in the potty tent I've left uh, wet wipes uh, oh, alcohol gel uh, garbage bags toilet paper oh the toilet paper is going fast it's getting it's getting well used I'll have to get more toilet paper in here um, and so of course a potty tent has to have a potty uh, it's pack it in, pack it out. Same thing. This is just what I just did. You can see. Just duct tape. Are people leaving deposits in here? People are leaving deposits in here. I've told them very clearly, do not leave your deposits in here. 
if this continues, we'll, we'll, conti we'll not have a potty tent anymore. <clears throat> yeah, I can't have that. I can't have people leave, have, leaving me their stuff. <clears throat> uh, okay, so just definitely pack it in, pack it out. You do not leave it for me. So that will have to stop or we will have to pull down the potty tents. Um, okay, so uh, there you have it. There's uh, That's going here on here at the RTR. And uh, you can see the two tents together here. So we will go from there. All right. Thanks for, uh, let me turn around, let me see, you can see me, shake you around some more. Okay, so there you have it, the two potty tents behind me. And uh, so I'm glad you visited with me again today, just to give you an idea of what we have going on here. We have the potty tents. Uh, I will, uh, and uh, I'll stop there and, uh, so. I hope you next year you'll be here because what you need is here and uh, there's a new life and a way to live your dreams and have your best possible life. And I hope you can find that for yourself too. Okay, so we'll see you later and uh, bye.